In this video, we're taking a look at the field calculator. So let's do a right click here and go to the attributes table. Now here to see field calculator, we're going to calculate the log value of the population values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new field. There you go. Let's call this uh, field log population. Okay, now let's change the type to float. I, I will talk about the floats in a later video. Uh, sorry, I'll talk about the types in a later video of field. Uh, but for now, let's just use float. Okay, now click on OK. And as you can see, a new field has been added. Now select the field, do right click on it. And then we're going to go to field calculator. There you go, field calculator. Now field calculator uh, gives you provides you two options. You can either work with VBScript or you can work with Python. If you don't know Python, uh, VBScript is uh, very useful for you because it is very simple and you can also find VBScript in Excel files as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do log. So let's take log, just a single click, do a single click on the function. So to choose the function, then we're going to go to our uh, population field. So here you will have to do a double click. So do a double click. So add the population here. So we're doing the log of population. Click on OK. And it has been calculated. So you have provided the log values of population here. So that is it on field calculator. You can also do some other stuff in field calculator as well. Uh, if, we, if we open field calculator up again. There we go. Or with VBScript, you have all these other options. You can uh, do sine, you can do tan, you can do uh, what is it, the square root, uh, you can even do integer, uh, and many more. You you have many more options here. You can add one after another as well. So those are according to your needs. What you are doing, what you are analyzing, uh, is what depends on those things. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can produce graphs in ArcGIS using the values we have gathered and the values we have calculated. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you got to learn something new. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.